debacle at the Deacon. UC students moving into one off campus apartment building found a mess days before classes start. That's right. And just in the last two hours here, the university says that it's taking over maintenance there. Anchor Evan Milward joins us now with a look inside and why students and parents are just so frustrated, Evan. Yeah, so UC will handle housekeeping and maintenance at the Deacon, at least for a little while. Leaks from the sprinkler and HVAC systems mean some students are actually moving into hotels instead of apartments. Others were told their rooms were ready, only to be surprised when they opened their door. Sophomore track and field athlete Jackson Volbrecht. I mean, it was just a mess. Dust everywhere and stuff on the ground. Tried to move from Virginia into the Deacon on August 11th, but found a room untouched since the last tenants moved out. Management asked him to come back the next day. We get in there and the floor was still a mess. The only thing they did was paint and that was it. And then they left their scalpel, their shirts, uh, eaten apple, paint cans, stuff like that all over. He considers himself lucky. His room was just dirty. Meanwhile, his hallway isn't carpeted, just epoxy sticking to shoes. It's how Lisa Wilson found her son's apartment this weekend. Wow. Part of his flooring also pulled up and the carpet that's there carpet looks like it's been wet. bubbled up in the bedroom, just like the ceiling. Days before moving, they got this note saying his apartment wasn't affected by leaks from the sprinkler and HVAC systems and they could move in. Updates were too late for others. This out of state mom tried moving her daughter in last weekend only to find mold in the vents. She's asthmatic. I'm concerned about all the kids, not just my child. Mold is not a good thing to be inhaling. We spotted cleanup crews outside the Deacon last weekend and again Tuesday. Management hasn't responded to requests for comment. UC says it's made arrangements for students who lease through its housing office. Well, I still have friends and teammates that are in hotels still waiting to move in. Dominique Hall is one of Volbrecht's roommates. They found this note from UC on their door yesterday, the first day of class, more than one week after move-in. Oh, come on, guys. You right. know, like, kind of just figure this out. And it looks like in the past couple of hours, they're moving toward it. This isn't the first time students have complained about the conditions at the Deacon. Six months after it opened in 2019, the campus newspaper, the news record, reported a number of complaints from holes in the walls to maintenance issues and more. Yugo USA is a new owner manager since that time. But now again, UC is taking over maintenance and housekeeping effective immediately, Craig.